UC Riverside School of Medicine will be wrapping up its first full year in session this upcoming June. Since opening up its doors in August, the school has become a place for students to study, conduct research, and receive high-quality training that will prepare them for their respective fields in the biomedical sciences. Recently, the Highlander was granted exclusive access into California's first medical school in over 40 years. As founding dean Richard Olds explained it, the school initially had to jump through multiple hoops in order to finally receive funding and accreditation. We started on a task of trying to raise a hundred million dollars, basically ten million dollars a year for ten years. That may seem like a lot of money, but actually <clears throat> we were proposing to open with the smallest budget of any med school in the United States, eighteen million dollars. The next closest was twenty-six. So even uh, accomplishing that goal, we still, it was dicey. But amazingly, we, this community came forward and we actually raised that hundred million three days before the deadline for us to apply for a second uh, cycle of accreditation. The first session officially started last August, and since then, the school has moved forward with its mission statement of service to the Inland Empire. Dr. Michael Duwadi gave us a tour of the school as he explained to us the school's history and what separates this newly established institution from the former two-year program. You guys are at the Hyderwall, um, and as you uh, may or may not know, uh, we used to have the old biomedical sciences program, um, and it was the, the Hyder Biomedical Sciences program um, named after Dr. Thomas Hyder. For decades, UCR was part of the UCR-UCLA Thomas Hyder program in biomedical sciences, a medical program that offers students a joint medical degree where students would receive their first two years of education at UCR before finishing off their studies and ultimately graduating from UCLA School of Medicine. <laughs> so now the focus of our medical school is on, is on improving the, the health of the Inland Empire community. Right. So we're really looking at um, Inland Empire, people from the Inland Empire or who have strong ties to the Inland Empire. Um, and basically all of the students we even consider are from California um, yeah. because we need them to come from here so they understand what our community is like and the needs of our community. In August 2013, the School of Medicine celebrated its first ever white coat ceremony at the Student Recreation Center. As the students walked up to the stage to receive their white coats that day, a crowd of 700 attendees cheered them on as they began their journey into the field of medicine. We asked Trina and Lewis, two of the 50 inaugural students, what thoughts ran across their minds as they walked up to the stage that day. Don't trip. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, um, you know, it was just, you know, you know, for me it was just the whole path, you know, everything that, you know, from being an undergrad and, and trying to do everything to get into medical school mm -hmm. and then finally you know receiving the white coat and it was just one of those things that it was just you made it it was like a dream honestly yeah. you know you put so much time and effort to apply to med school to take your prereqs to take ochem all those labs you know you're stuck in lab till late at night and you're like why am i doing this right. but when i walked across the stage it was just like okay now i know as the students explained it, the school offers them more than simple rote learning. With the aid of patient examination rooms and medical simulation mannequins such as this one, students are given the chance to practice their medical training by analyzing and identifying a patient's needs in order to improve patient care. He's got ducks here for crying, <laughs> nasal discharge, drooling. He's got some uh, holes up here for sweat. Wow. Yeah. Um, he's got several speakers under his chest. So one of the clinical skills uh, our students pick up on is heart auscultation mm -hmm. and lung auscultation. They can also listen posterior, his back. Wow. It's got bowel sounds, wow. um, pulses uh, all over. Um, I think Chris said we could cath, cath him, yeah. do a catheter and wow. get a urine bag. Wow. Um, this model, the 3G, can convulse so he can wow. simulate a seizure. State-of-the-art facilities and equipment such as these are just a few of the many ways in which students are able to learn and train for their future professions in medicine. Another way is by teaching students the proper people skills they will need to succeed in the field. And that lesson comes straight from the dean. Well, I guess one of the advantages of being so small is I'm also their faculty member. I actually teach them. So, uh, yeah. you know, I actually, because of my background, I teach them basically most of the tropical disease because that's what I'm a specialist in. And so I teach the students that. 
Uh, in addition, I believe I, as the dean, should teach them about professionalism because I think you know it's very important. Professionalism is something that should come from the top, mm -hmm. you know. And so I actually also teach them professionalism. Whether they learn from lectures, from books, from faculty, or from hands-on training, students are offered a unique education that few other medical schools in the country can provide. Yes, we have a great med school. I love our missions, etc. But if we are successful in this school, we will change medical education in the rest of the United States.